Stewart's Opera House has a long history of presenting the arts from its home on Nelsonville's public square. Opened by its namesake, George Stewart, in 1879, Stewart's played host to some of the most successful acts of the era and served as a gathering place for community events before closing its doors in 1924. After sitting empty for over 50 years, a group of people began plans to revive the building as a working theater, hoping to restore Stewart's as a cultural centerpiece of the town. However, on March 24, 1980, a tragic fire brought restoration plans to a halt. That spirit of commitment to the future of Stewart's Opera House was kept alive, and through hard work and financial support, its doors reopened in 1997. Stewart's has become a world-class performing arts center, with those involved continuing to craft a new vision for the future. There's an aura about this place. It's, it's a very special place. You can feel it when you come in. I think there's a great sense of history and one that the community feels a strong connection to. What I see happening in Nelsonville that Stewart's is a big part of is a renaissance in a way, whether it's uh, Vinyl Fridays or the, uh, the music festival and different things that are going on in the community. It's really important that we have a destination that draws people in so they check out what else is going on there. I worked in Nelsonville for 37 years, and then after I retired, I started volunteering there. Unbelievable amount of different people come through the door, you know. You can get pretty close to the performers, and the music sounds great, and they have, you know, lots of good, good shows there. They'll have reggae music, or rock, or Americana, I mean, the list goes on. You know, you never know exactly what makes a place special sometimes it's the person taking care of it but this is one of those uh, stops on the road that i'm not the only one that i know looks forward to them some of my favorite shows every year are here it's a giving town you know it feels like it's really easy to get your heart open and your motor running there's a certain thing people hope that they're going to get if they come to my show and i think it happens here it's a special place ABC Players is the resident community theater group at the Opera House. Until we became the resident group, we were performing all over the place. Just having extra space in a green room, a costume shop, and a set shop. We love having our home at Stewart's. Stewart's acts as an economic cornerstone for Nelsonville and its public square, hosting over 75 events every year, including live music, theater, educational programs, film, and more. In addition, we present the Nelsonville Music Festival, a four-day event featuring over 50 acts and drawing between five and 10,000 people in. Nelsonville Music Fest is pretty unique because of the music and because of the atmosphere, because of the scenery, it's beautiful. The quality of performers, uh, the quality of entertainment. Whether you're a volunteer, bought a ticket, only able to come for one day, camp the whole four days. You will not feel more intimate with the big acts at any other place. It's, it's really fulfilling. The value of, of stewards to the community is just, it's dramatic because it continues to pay forward. We recognize that arts and music education is disappearing from public school curriculum, so we open our doors to over 7,000 area students every year to share the experience of live performance. Stewart's offers free shows to local schools, participates in summer art camps, and in 2012, we started the after-school music program. I personally have always wanted to be a rock star. Whether it's playing music or designing the album cover, I just want to do something with music. Our goal primarily is to inspire them, to get them excited about music. And I think the best thing a music program can do is to inspire students to want to do music outside of school. When you participate in music, you're going to participate in collaboration, working with people and then performing in front of an audience. It brings a community together, so it's a, it's a great activity for that. 
It really shows how to get along with people and how to play in a band with people also, and not just like the technical stuff. It's just all really cool. As the demand grows for increased programming, Stewart's Opera House has reached a saturation point. We are excited to have leveraged community support as well as state capital to expand our venue. I've been in that space during intermission when people are trying to get some refreshments or step outside for a minute and it is definitely very tight. There would be a lot of value to having a more open reception area for the different fundraisers and events that occur there. Our capital campaign and expansion project will launch Stewart's into an exciting future with even more possibilities. It enables us to carry out the vision of the people who saved Stewart's to begin with. They had a vision for what Stewart's could bring to the community and now we're really running with it. For the community, they have a gem. <laughs>